All right, let's try this out. I have a spring of spring constant, K, and I have three absolutely <laughs> identical springs. So let's see what happens. All right. So let's start with this one. So can I actually have somebody, uh, I think you guys all smartphones, can we do a little timing exercise? So I would love to count how long it takes for it to do 10 oscillations. So this is. Okay, you guys ready? Y 
over 3, pulling down on it is mg. You can see if we do the exact same song and dance that we did right there, we're going to end up with mg plus minus c plus y over 3 times k equals my double down. <coughs> The D over 3K, the MG are going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with Y double dot plus one third K over M Y equals zero. Therefore, our omega so since our omega decreased. Since you know that the period is too high over omega, the period must have increased. Okay. Yeah? Would it be helpful to like, think of it as one big spring with one third of the same Yes, you can. Um, so, in fact, if you were to think of it as uh, one big spring, let's see, we can do this real quick. So, if you had. One big spring with some spring constant k naught, and now you have. And let's compare it to <coughs> the three spring system. Each of three constant k. This is your free body diagram. Let's just word out equilibrium right here. Pulling up. If we just place distance d again, this is going to be k naught d. Mg. So we're going to have k naught d equals mg. And then for this one, remember this spring is one attached to it, only stretches by d over 3. So if we draw our free body diagram on this guy, we have k d over 3 mg. So we have k d over 3 <coughs> equals mg. Well, these m and g's are the same, so if we set them equal, we get k naught d equals k d over 3. So if you cancel out the d's, you see that k naught equals 1 third k. So you're right, this is actually cool to think of as one spring where the third k Okay, any other questions on that one? Yeah. Uh, I'm still confused about why you don't have to consider there to be some tension from the other two strings. Mm. Or two springs. Okay. So what's physically acting on this guy is only the spring that's connected to it. Now, the for if you think of the force on any point connecting the springs, what does the net force on that have to be? What it do you guys think? What if, yeah, I'm hearing zero kind of not so confidently. But think about what would it be if it was not zero and we're in equilibrium? They'd be moving, right? So the force everywhere along here has to be constant, or else you have a spring stretching or compressing. Well, it's not actively moving if we're in equilibrium here. Right? It's not, the, the little tiny bit of uh, spring would have to be accelerating, I guess I would say. Uh, 